So it has been a quiet couple of weeks, not just from my channel, but just on the Nintendo gaming scene as a whole. Now, there have been very small announcements that have come out, such as Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Red Rescue Team coming to Nintendo Switch Online. That's actually probably a way bigger deal to a lot of people than I'm giving it credit for, but I've been just taking some time away to focus on my work and everything else, and waiting, waiting for something cool to happen in the realm of Nintendo news, or maybe some new stuff about the Switch 2. Well, we have Switch 2 news to talk about today, so what's up everybody? Welcome to That Nintendo Show. Sorry I've been away for so long, but I hope you guys enjoy this video and leave a like on it, subscribe if this is your first time here. I'm assuming that things are going to start heating up soon. We're getting closer and closer to the end of the year, and Nintendo has got to announce the Switch successor at some point. So the excitement is building. The momentum is here for us to just have a Grand Slam presentation at some point soon to where we're all going to just explode with joy, hopefully. Well, today's video is all about a new Switch 2 leak. Now, a couple months ago, one of the most prominent leakers in the scene, but their name is Puro, was pretty much struck down. They've disappeared, they're not doing leaks anymore. And since then, everyone else has been a lot more quiet about what they decide to release. And I think it's because Nintendo is just going after these people or, you know, just trying to keep it under wraps as much as they can. Well, we do have a little bit of something here from Necro Philippe has hinted at the idea of the Switch successor having a secondary cooler on the dock and the power supply being able to put out 60 watts of charging. So the current Nintendo Switch wall adapter is rated at 39 watts of power, according to Google. And this would be potentially bumping that up to 60, which hopefully means that the Switch itself is going to get faster charging whether it's in the dock or if you just plug a cable into it. With how things are set up right now, you may have already noticed it, but the Switch just charges so slow. Especially if it's been dead for a while, this takes forever. For contrast, if you have a modern smartphone, like an iPhone or a Samsung or something, if your battery dies and you plug the charger into it, it pretty much almost just comes right back up. And the Nintendo Switch, it takes its time. This is really just micro nitpicking at certain things that I would love for change on the Switch successor. But if there is room for improvement, we just found another one. But what all this means is that with them putting a secondary fan potentially in the dock to help with cooling, and it's got a higher horsepower, higher wattage on the wall adapter, it makes sense to me that all of this is to help with the fact that the Switch successor is going to be just putting out way more power than the current Switch. And I think this is something we already knew from all the other leaks and rumors that we've had in the past, like they're shooting for 4K, or if nothing else is gonna do like NVIDIA AI upscaling and all this other stuff, so that's just to be expected. But I don't know, it just finally something has crept out that's worth reporting on. And I wanted to make sure that everyone here got to see that. And that's actually where I planned it on ending this video. But as I'm recording this, some other stuff decided to creep out. Again, none of it's official. Take it all with a grain of salt. But this is from a insider known as Paul Gale. We're reading this off on X. He says, A few major third-party developers whom at E3 2017 weren't anticipating Nintendo Switch taking off the way it did and didn't have a AAA title at launch that were at the show itself are working on big launch window releases for Nintendo's next system. Nintendo Switch 2 will have some early significant ports, parallel releases, and exclusives. This all kind of just seems like things we should expect. I'm pretty sure the one that comes to mind the most about a major developer that wasn't there at launch that I can think about is Activision. They kind of shied away for quite some time before they really started putting anything on it. And as kind of been talked about on the show before, 
I love Call of Duty. Big Call of Duty fan. New Black Ops 6 trailer also came out today for zombies. I'm excited. That's not relevant. But we already know that the goal is for Call of Duty to be parallel on Nintendo platforms with what's on all the other systems. If the Nintendo Switch 2 isn't coming out until March or so of next year, having a Call of Duty game be there at launch, it's kind of a big deal, especially if it's going to play pretty close to how it plays now on other platforms. That's the first one that comes to mind. I'm sure there are plenty other options. The comment section on this post mentions things like Elden Ring and Baldur's Gate 3, which I could kind of see Elden Ring showing up. They also mentioned that maybe it would be like it, the Switch's Skyrim moment, but it's Elden Ring. Baldur's Gate, I'm not too sure about, but that game's phenomenal. I'll play it anywhere that it's available. <laughs> but anyway, there's, there's a lot of potential here for new releases, new ports of existing games. And it seems to be that the Switch 2 launch lineup is going to be something spectacular. Let me know in the comments what games you would like to see that are currently available get ported to the Nintendo Switch 2 for its launch. And hopefully we'll get some kind of concrete information in the near future so people in the comments can stop leaving a, oh boy, another leak video because that's pretty much all we got right now. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.